Hi, I'm Ian Anderson, an Apple Certified Trainer. CoreMelt Complete has various different filters for creating video wall effects and transitions. If you simply want to break a single clip up into multiple smaller boxes, 3D Shatter is a safe choice. You can start with the full clip, then animate the Z spread parameter up or down to push the image apart. For more automated effects, you could use 3D Image Random Spacing, which jumps around for you with plenty of controls. 3D Image Grid is similar, but with many more copies of your own clip and with more order. You can use these filters with automatic random animation or keyframe your own. Use Panel Vision for a complementary effect in 2D. You can introduce multiple clips by choosing up to 8 clips and dragging clips into the image wells that appear. These clips are shrunk and repeated to fill the screen, with a variety of parameters to govern how many clips are displayed and if there are any gaps. The Fill Ratio property controls what percentage of the screen is filled, and the Seed parameter is a source for the randomness. Controlling the Seed parameter gives predictability when required. You could also set Fill Ratio to 1, then animate the NumH and NumV parameters to break up the image gradually. If you would prefer something more dimensional, add Wrap Around. This effect wraps the clip around a cylinder. The size and perspective are controllable, as is the rotation of the cylinder. Animate the X Shift parameter to spin your clip around. A nice trick here is available in Motion to link a parameter to changes in a particular frequency in the audio. Trim the clip you want to send, right click and choose Send to Motion Project. You'll need to reapply the filters here, so choose Library. Filters, C2 Shatter, Panel Vision, and press Apply. Now choose Wrap Around and press Apply again. Choose Inspector, then Filters, and look for the X Shift property. Right click the words X Shift and choose Audio. Now choose Master Audio in the Source Audio drop down. Play the clip and examine the audio graph. Isolate an interesting part of the audio by dragging the sliders below the graph and change the mapped range, if needed, by dragging the sliders to the right. You should aim to closely match the range of the audio you've chosen. Finally, boost the scale parameter just a little to make the effect more prominent. I'm a kangaroo. Play the video. He's very happy. And see the rotation match the audio. In any host application, use 3D Sphere Map instead of Wrap Around for even more depth. This shows your clips on the inside of a sphere rather than a cylinder and offers random or keyframeable animation. If desired, you can control its rotation around X, Y, and or Z axes. To create the initial multi-screen image, another workflow is to use a generator rather than a filter on a single clip. The image flow generators Image Grid and Video Wall Zoom can display multiple clips as a video wall with a few more options. These effects work with images and movies as sources. You just need to gather them together in a folder, then choose that folder from within the Generators Controls tab. This is useful when you need to work with more than eight clips or want a random selection from a folder of many images. When using generators, you can still add wraparound or 3D sphere map for depth. Also, if you want to incorporate automatic animation of the clips themselves, you can look to multi-pop forward, multi-fader, multi-grow, or multi-swoosh. It's also possible to use multi-screen displays in transitions. If you use video wall in out, video screens two way or video screens four way, you'll be able to move in and out of a multi-screen display with minimal effort. It's easy to control the position and size of each screen, and in the four way version you can control up to two additional screens as well. Each screen can be shown with a frame, for example a computer display or a gun sight, though you can provide a custom frame 
through an image well. Once you've positioned and sized your screens and chosen a frame, it's a good idea to save a preset for reuse later. Just press the plus button next to the presets drop down menu and give it a name. Recall an existing preset by choosing it and pressing the load button. Finally, it can be useful to combine video wall filters with complementary transitions, such as the panel vision filter with the video screen's transitions. The Delta V transitions, image flow generators, and shatter filters can all be purchased separately or together as part of Cormelt Complete. There's a free trial of Cormelt Complete available from cormelt.com, so please experiment with these techniques and show us your results on the forums. Thanks for watching.